In the industry, you'll often be given a short brief of a character and you'll immediately have an idea in your mind of what you want to design. The key is to follow this design, but not be limited to it. These initial stages are all about exploration. Your first idea really should not be your only idea. The best way to do this is with quick, varying sketches, just to plot down as many different thoughts as possible. They should differ quite a lot from each other. Don't feel pressure to think of everything because it's likely you'll have fresh ideas at a later stage. Just get down everything you can now. All right, so what I'm gonna do is open up my layers. So just to show you an example, I'm going to come up with some very quick character designs. And we're going to use the prompt villainous feline. Now there's probably a handful of existing characters that spring to mind when you think of an evil cat, but we're going to try and come up with something different using references and exploring original ideas. So by making this sketch visible, I'll show you what probably comes to mind when you think of an evil cat. A white Persian, fat, fluffy, with some angry dark eyes. There's quite a few examples of this kind of character already existing in movies, comic books, and TV, which is probably why this design is the first thing we imagine. What we want to do is come up with something different, but also maybe exploring this character in a unique way. Before anything though, you need to have a good idea of what an actual cat really looks like. So, using anatomy references like this are key to drawing animals. Even if you plan on creating something that's very stylistic, there always needs to be a sense of reality to the character to make it clear to the audience what animal it actually is. Okay, so what I'm going to do is keep this reference up here in the corner for myself so I can use it as I go along. And I'm going to create a new layer and name it Sketches. And I'm going to go with the stereotypical evil fluffy white cat idea and hopefully come up with something original as quickly as I can. So the key is to work quickly and what I'm going to do is focus on two opposing styles of design. The first is going to be more geometric with cleaner shapes and a more two-dimensional feel. So I'll start with the head. And I'm just trying to keep this character very flat more cartoon-like compared to the previous design I had, but still going with an original feel to it. So crisp lines, or at least they will be if you were to clean them up, because you can't expect to have crisp lines when you're sketching. Just try and get a feel for what's gonna, what it's going to look like when you're done. So I'm going to use a lot of curves just to get that feline body. And I'm still using this reference up here in the top left. I'm looking at it every now and again just to get the feel for how things should roughly look. Short little legs, like this. So it's more of a kitten. It's a very angry kitten. <laughs> Big fluffy tail. The face, I'm going to plot using lines like this, just to direct where the eyes are going to be in the center of the face here. You can make changes as you go. And what I'm going to do is click on this lasso tool over here, select about half the body like this, and I'm just going to move it down very slightly because I want it to be a bit shorter. And press Command and D just to deselect that part of the image. And I'm just going to continue with the ears. I'm going to draw like devilish kind of ears, just to give it that evil feel. I'm going to do the same with the head as I did with the body, so with the lasso tool, lasso tool I'm going to just select half the head, bring it down, just to make it a little bit more flat, deselect. And with the eraser tool over here, I'm just going to scrub out these construct lines just to make it a little easier so I can draw the face. Back to the brush. Just very quick, there's no rush, there's no pressure to make this look perfect. Always make changes later on. Some angry eyes. So as you can see, it's quite stylized. Probably more stylized than the previous drawing. Just jumping between the eraser and the pencil. 
a pen rather, just to get this down as quickly as possible. Bigger eyes. Still gonna try and keep that dark eye feel just to make the cat look a little more evil. Whiskers. Gonna bring this round, and there you go. So that's just the first design. Obviously, you can develop it later on, but it's just to get some quick ideas down. So there we go, our first sketch. So now, using the transform tool up here under Edit, ah, there it is, and then Scale, we can just shift the image at the corner to make it smaller and just move it to one side, just so we have room to do a new drawing. And I'm going to work on something completely different, just to get some variation on these designs, something more human, a little more fantastical maybe. Um, so I'm going to start off with the head, just for placement, and just very quickly, very roughly, begin drawing a different idea. I'm going to start with a face this time round, just so I know what's what I'm doing up here. That's the good thing about sketches, you can just, there's no rules, just get the line work down however you need to, so you can get your idea of what you're doing. And I'm going to give him some big whiskers that come up to his mouth so it looks like a moustache almost and this way dark eyes again just to keep things consistent maybe a snubber nose some flat ears let's give him that kind of angry look and for the body, I'm going to just make him really fat. Like a big fat cat. Some chubby legs. We'll come back to that. And obviously use the eraser at the same time, just move lines around. So I'm going to give him some clothes. And as you can see, it's a completely different idea to the original, uh, to the one we previously did and the original. It's more human, a lot more detailed, a lot more precise with the shapes and lines. Big furry coat. To make him a little more evil. <laughs> a vest. And you're just creating an illusion of these aspects to the character because you don't have to have any strict lines just yet. So long as you can see what you've done for the future when you come back to work on this further. So long as you understand it, that's all that matters at this development stage. How about a cigar? So he's gangster. <laughs> Some little stubby feet. That way you can't really take him too seriously. Have the coat come down. I'm just trying to get this done very quick. Big fluffy tail, like all the previous designs. So I think a Persian cat would be quite the same without a big fluffy tail. And there we go. Oh, and how about a fedora? Now he's very gangster. <laughs> there we go. So there's our second design. And with the marquee tool, in the transform tool, I'm going to move him back to the same size as the previous. 
and shift them over there so we can see. Press enter to deselect, select, deselect, and there we go. So there's our two designs, and they do change quite a lot from the original. Make these smaller again. Make this one smaller so it fits nicely. And there we have it. So the original, second design, and the third design. And you can see how there's quite a lot of variation. Um, they differ quite a lot from the original. Getting the variation helps to give you options when it comes to choosing a design that works best with your work. Even if it's the original idea you go for in the end, at least you've experimented enough to know what works and what doesn't. Even when it comes to something very cliche and a very overused idea such as this. So in the next lesson, we're going to work on creating something completely different using our design prompt and hopefully experiment with some completely original ideas that get away from the stereotypes and the cliches and it gives you something fresh.